kind of pressure, good things are bound to happen. Walker to Mo Bamba. Oh, Carter with the rejection. Just erasing mistakes left and right. Done to Wendell Carter. Stuffs it down with authority. Oh, man, did you see that swiftness? He dunked that thing like a tennis ball. It looked like that in his hand. Across the timeline, it's Walker. Trailing by four. Down low, it's Gordon. Knock loose. Nothing going here on that drive. It's Carter with the rebound. Levine. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. Ed, you ever bail out of something at the last second? That's what I saw right there from the defender. We call that no man's land. They weren't really committed to getting out of the way, committing a hard foul, or taking the brunt of the contact. The free throw, perfect. And the lead is up to seven. Now the Magic gonna signal for a timeout as they'll go over some tactics now in this first quarter of play. Into the front court, it's Walker. Right now, down seven. The drive, right to the basket. Oh, denied! As my old teammate RJ would say, stay down, clown. To Chris Dunn. And he finishes at the rim. I love the drive to the basket there. Instead of trying to go around or over, go through. Walker into the front court. His team down nine. Fournier to Walker. Here comes the screen. Hey, big screen right there, big screen. Hey, Trying to cash in. Not that time. Let's it fly from long range. Rebounded by Isaac. Walker with the basketball. They can get a two for one if they play this right. Here comes the screen. Nothing going here on that drive. Fournier to Kemba Walker. The Bulls with the rebound. Fires the three. Double figures in the first quarter, now with 10, including that three. And the more and more I watch, I become mesmerized with that follow through. That release is effortless. That misses with a second to go. First quarter's complete. Nice cushion for the Bulls. as we get things started here in the second quarter. Hey, lock up, lock up. To Markinen. For three, knocks it down and the foul. He's going to the line for a chance at a four-point play. Most definitely contact on that forearm during the follow-through. You have to give the offensive player a lot of credit. The concentration you need to make a shot after getting fouled, that's big time.
Lori Markkinen with a chance at a four-point play. A career 84% free throw shooter. Off the mark at the line. Calls out of bounds. Last touch by Kemba Walker. To Chris Dunn. Beyond the arc for three. Tough shot there for Chris Dunn. No good. Isaac to Gordon. Lori marketing. Swats it. Just incredible timing on that swat. Nice pass to set things up. Ah, no good. And this happens all the time in this league. Sometimes offensively, you're tired. It's one of those type of nights. You combine that with the fact that the defense is hungry and active and contesting everything, that's why shots aren't dropping. Marking it to Zach Levine. Lobs it up. Dunk for Jonathan Isaac. And cutting hard in transition is one of the most underrated things about this game. The harder you can cut is the more it opens up the floor to make plays just like that. Fires the three. The seven-footer, Bamba, with the board. Magic basketball. Send it away. Did you see how far he got up? He kept going up and up and up. I think he's still going up. That's going to be out of bounds. Across the timeline, it's Walker. His guy's currently down by 13. Yeah, you got the screen right. screen, screen coming. Right. Fournier to Mo Bamba. Rebound comes to Chicago. Marking it. Nice pace, sets it up, and slams it down. That has to feel deflating for the other side. They've really came out and made a statement so far in this first half. Another powerful dunk, but another easy dunk. When are we going to see some defense? Isaac, knocked loose. Couldn't keep it in. It's out off Chris Dunn, so it stays with the Magic. Gordon. The pass set it all up. Contact on a drive can be a beautiful thing. Making those tough shots can really help you build a mental advantage over your defender. To Wendell Carter. Tough looking shot there. Still gets it to go down. He's been doing this for years. The physicality in which he plays. No one wants to see that. You're going to leave the game with black and blue marks all over your body. Is in for two. No doubt about where that one was headed. It's Chicago ball. The crossover gets inside and the slam dunk. He was ready right at the tip. What a first half he's having. He came out out of the gate, attacked, found ways to get to the rim. Now look how easy the game is coming to him. Try that time. I'm going to start calling him the windshield wiper. Just a great It's good. And it gets them closer as we reach the end of the first half. That'll do it for the first half. It has been all bulls. The bulls have built a comfortable lead. It was their playmaking, the way they gave each other scoring opportunities. That really impresses me. I love seeing unselfish basketball like that. These are the guys getting buckets for the Chicago Bulls. The Magic did a lot of things wrong in that opening half. There isn't enough time to get into all of their problems, but I'll tell you this, they need to try to get better. Have a look at the leading scores for the Orlando Magic. Game.
team track. Field goals. The Orlando Magic just couldn't get any of their shots to go in in those first two quarters. They desperately need someone to step up and catch fire for them in the second half. The shooting was certainly worse in the opening quarter. Player of the half. I like this choice because he really put on a show in the opening half. There's a reason he's a fan favorite. about a guy like this, except that he fits the title of this segment. He was definitely cold in that first half. Here we go with the top plays from the first half. Number two. Number one. And that concludes our halftime report. Thanks for joining us again after the game. To Levine. Finish that. I got him. I got ball. Fournier I got ball. to Walker. Knock loose. Driving right to the basket. Give it to him. Kemba Walker. Not shaken for the early struggles. Maybe this is a sign of things to come. You normally don't see that, but that's the type of thing that keeps shooters in the league for a long time. Every once in a while, they venture into the paint. Oh! That kid can block out the sun. Man. Knock loose. Bulls come away with it. Here's your chance to break this thing wide open. Out of bounds the call. Last touch by Lori Markinen. Into the front court, it's Walker. His guys trail by 10. Isaac to Kemba Walker. And they call the foul. Felt the breeze there, Jay. Ah, uh, his timing was a tad bit off. That's his first personal foul. Team foul number one. First foul in the final two minutes. Gordon to Walker. Hey, y'all gonna have to send some help over here. The Magic with four to shoot. Knocked loose. I'll take that. I'll take that. Zach Levine doing what he does best. It's that easy, Ed. You never want to leave any doubt when attacking the rim. Sean. That's going to make a nice poster. Marking it. Probing the defense. To marking it. Off the assist. In the paint, you need to finish just like that. Walker into the front court. 14 point deficit. To Aaron Gordon. Done. Looking for his man. That pass stolen by Orlando. You know, Ed, sometimes you're just more ready to play than your opponent. The intensity and the effort is off the charts. Tough mate through traffic. It's so difficult to block a guy like that with that kind of athleticism and length. Your timing almost has to be perfect, but pretty much there's no stopping him when he's around the ring. Tough shot for Markinen. No good. Walker with the basketball. The deficit now up to a dozen. Here comes the screen. Curling inside. Shot from in close, no good. 